states all around the nation now, including here in the Commonwealth, putting a pause on the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. This comes after reports of a possible rare disorder, including blood clots found in six women. One died. And we are following breaking news tonight. We have just learned the death of a Virginia woman is linked from the Virginia Department of Health. That's right. So 10 News reporter Jessica Jewell joins us live now. She's been working on this story all day. Jessica, what can you tell us about the investigation? Well, earlier today, John and Lindsay, we found those CDC records that showed that Virginia woman got the Johnson & Johnson vaccine and experienced symptoms that were in line with those six cases and then died. We didn't know until just a couple minutes ago that VDH had confirmed with the CDC that it was part of those investigations. Now we also know vaccination efforts are on hold, and this is causing some people to be a little more hesitant about getting their shot. We need to get safe, but we need to make sure what we're putting in our bodies is safe for us. I don't think it's good. Just as being a nurse in a hospital and working with COVID patients, I really think that we need the vaccines. Mixed reaction after pausing Johnson & Johnson distribution in Virginia. State health leaders say they made the call not because of the frequency of these blood clot cases, but the pattern. Vaccine safety is uh, of the utmost importance, right? If we can't confidently uh, have the American public believe and trust in the safety and, and efficacy of vaccines, that could undermine the entire effort. The move postpones 30 vaccine clinics across the Commonwealth, 72,000 doses on hold. The Roanoke City and Allegheny Health Districts are largely unaffected, with no major J&J &J clinics scheduled this week. We did have one small clinic, one of our uh, community outreach vaccination team clinics that had we had had about 70 doses of um, Johnson and Johnson still left. We, of course, have switched that to Pfizer. Health leaders urging patience and confidence while some in the community remain hesitant. Even though we're scared of the coronavirus right now, I think we need to be scared of this vaccine, too, because there needs to be more studies. There needs to be more tests on. I waited and I feel like it's better to have it than not have it. Pause is expected to last this pause is expected to last anywhere from days to weeks. Again, we just got this information in breaking news about this Virginia woman who died in connection to these cases. We are working to learn more information and we'll keep you updated with the very latest on air and online at WSLS.com. Live in Roanoke, I'm Jessica Jewell, 10 News, working for you.